in the Synergy design, the, the crossover is able to be more a part of the sound. We're able to actually have um, the different band passes work together in a, in, a, in a much more cohesive way because they're positioned correctly in the horn. So we're able to do things in the crossover that most people would say, why are you doing that? If you design the product physically correct, the crossover doesn't actually become more complicated. You can do more with the crossover to make it a cohesive product. It is not a um, uh, generic thing by any means. We custom design them and uh, a lot of effort is, goes into getting the phase right, getting the amplitude right. Some other products will use a much simpler crossover. It's just a couple of compo components, and there's the purpose of the crossover is to divide the frequency ranges up the, into the different bands that the different drivers need. Fundamentally, that's all that it is. But with the Danley stuff, um, this is out of the SH-50, it's a lot more involved because we actually do EQ in there to flatten out the response. And so you can take Danley products with no processing, just plug a source into an amplifier, into the speaker, and it's gonna sound good right off the bat because of the extensive crossover that's, um, that we have in there. And the High Five guys really like that because they hate, they hate electronic manipulation of the signal. So it's done inside the cabinet, it's all passive. One of the things about the Danley products is that it, I aken it very much to a high performance sports car. There's not a lot of room for stuff. So you end up with uh, odd shapes um, like this and we're, we're dodging uh, portholes, we're dodging pieces of wood and everything to be able to get the, uh, the stuff in here. One of the big challenges is it as, as after the crossover is designed, then how much room have I got to put something in? And so we end up with some weird looking boards sometimes. We use uh, oversized components. There's a lot of resistors on here. And a lot of people say, well, I'm just gonna drop the signal and, and, and lower the signal. No, it's, it's for parts of the different uh, filter networks that we need. And it's just over oversize them so we don't have stuff that burns up. And so you should be able to drive the products at the rated power all day and all night without having any issues or worrying about the crossover burning up. The overall performance is, the crossover is a, a thing that is, that Dan is very proud of, and it's a lot more extensive, it costs, costs a lot more than normal, but you also get the higher performance out of it. It's the blend of the two technologies, the physical aspect of the Synergy horn and the electronic aspects of the Synergy horn. And that's, that's what makes the experience.